Yeah. In the last five years, advances in next generation sequencing has really given us an opportunity to dramatically improve the treatment of cancer. We're no longer necessarily going after where the tissue starts. Who cares if it's breast, prostate, or lung? Ultimately, it's what's causing it. And that's what you get out of genetic sequencing. You understand the mutation that actually causes it, which creates an opportunity to block that mutation. By blocking cancer at its root, at its core cause, you can have dramatic benefit. You really can change effectiveness and safety for the patient. So Endeavor, we're looking at one specific protein, PTCH or patch, which is present in a number of cancers. And I mean, what have you learned about this patch one mutation? It's known to be present in a big subset of skin cancers. And it's also known to be present in a subset of medulloblastoma, a brain cancer. We actually know that the drug we're developing works in the previously discovered skin cancers, and it should also work, you would think, in the other cancers as well. And that's what we're evaluating. So for example, if you're a patient, every cancer patient should do genomic sequencing.